Hey, what is going on YouTube? You're here from MJ Tech today coming with another unboxing and comparison of the fake versus real. In this case, it is no surprise that what we have here is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The one on the left hand side will be the original one. And on the right hand side here, we have obviously the fake iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is also known as the Goo Phone. Many people internationally know it for that particular name. That's what the factory has decided to call it. And they have ever since been called Goo Phone. So in this case, it'll be called Goo Phone i13 Pro Max. Anyways. This video is only intended for educational purposes and entertainment purposes as well. This is not a promotion of the fake. As a matter of fact, in this channel, we do not recommend buying fake devices. Many people out there do, and they try to sell them to you as originals, and that's why you guys are seeing this video. But again, this is only for educational purposes and entertainment purposes as well. I like to provide a little disclaimer in case that somebody thinks that I'm promoting. No, guys, I don't do this for promotion. I just do it so that you can learn more about these products. They exist out there, and many people are getting scammed daily. Anyways, here looking at the size of the box, you can see that well, not only the measurements are exactly the same, but we also have the iPhone logos as well. If you look here on the back side, this is where things become very interesting. You can see that all the barcodes here are very similar to the ones on the right. And the one on the right, like I said before, this is the fake box, but something that caught me by surprise for the first time ever is that we have the same pull tabs as the real one. So if you look here, I have held all my temptations to open it, and I'm talking about the fake one, just because I wanted to show you here the pull tabs, now they are exactly the same, and no, it doesn't open unless you take them out, just like with the real iPhone 13 Pro Max. So here on the other side of the box, we have the same thing, the iPhone logos right there. On the top, we have the Apple logos, and the quality seems to be almost the same, with the exception that if you look here at the original box on the top, it looks a lot smoother than the fake one, which is the one on the bottom. And then the same thing here goes for the logos. You can see it right there. Now, something I did notice here from the front picture, let me put them like this. This is the fake, is that I feel like there's like a some sort of 3D printing here going on with the real box. You can still feel it here on the fake, but only on the edges of the frame. And also this one has it here by the camera lens. You can feel the 3D print. This one doesn't have it at all. Anyways, let's set the uh, real box aside. Let's go ahead and remove the tabs. And as you can tell already, the tabs are not as smooth as for the real iPhone 13 Pro Max. They came apart very easily. This one at the bottom was a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and cut it and hopefully this will work and I think yes it did work. So there you can see that things are not as smooth as with the real iPhone and on here on the inner side of the box we can see an imperfection right there. If we compare this to the original box you can see that it looks similar to be honest with you. Yes it does look similar but just look at the qualities. The cuts everything it's a little bit different right there. Let me remove this adhesive from my finger. And it came with the same front cover as the real iPhone. Check this out. This is quite scary. On the back here, we just had some fingerprints, I guess. But they look very similar, even in the color, guys. Check this out. The real, and this is the fake. I'll keep repeating this throughout the video, so that way you don't get confused. I'll keep pointing out which one is which, but again, you can see that only when I shift it a little bit, you can tell the color difference, but if you see it in real life, it's actually even harder. It's just, I guess, the camera lens is able to distinguish the difference a little bit better than my eyes do. So again, if I see this in real life or you see it in real life, you're going to have a harder time than with the camera right now. So anyways, let's go ahead and peel off the front protector, and wow. The screen, as with many other models in the past, they don't have that glare, that glassy looking glare that makes it look cheap. This one looks almost identical here to the real iPhone 13 Pro Max. Look at that. 
I do see that the bezels are a little bit thicker. I would say maybe like two millimeters thicker, like we have seen from previous years, but it's not something dramatic. So again, this is the fake. We're gonna set it aside. On the inside here, you can see we have the USB-C uh, port to the regular uh, uh, iPhone uh, plug, okay? And here we have the manuals. And that's all we get here inside of the box. Just check out the boxes. Again, this is very important because these things, like I said, they can be passing as real deals out there in the market, guys. So here we're talking about that this is the real box and this is the fake box on my right. Look how close things are getting day by day, or at least every time they release one of these fakes, things are looking very, very close. Alrighty guys, so here we have the phones side by side on the left hand side the real on the right hand side the fake Take a look here at the cameras once again You can see that well, we can call that an easy giveaway the cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro Max do look different They are kind of sort of hidden in a much better way And then when the glare hits it they look more like a bluish color and then on this one it looks more like a greenish color at least for the bottom sensor in which by the way only one camera here works and i believe by looking at it it's going to be the upper camera it is a true 8 megapixel sensor camera on the fake and this one also has one gigabyte of ram the fake and eight gigabytes of internal storage so again here we have a closer look at the cameras check that out the led flash they are quite almost the same and if I'm not mistaken but the fake one seems to have or seems to look like the real deal just because of the way that it reflects here with the camera and we can see that this time they paid close attention to details at least on the back side here where they even provided the same hole uh, on this camera as well on the camera module right there look at the Apple logos they reflect about the same way. Now this one has more like a purplish color, at least through the camera. And on my right hand side, which is the fake, it is more like a true blue, like a baby blue. Now here we have the frames from the right side. You can see that the power keys are located about the same, but we do have this piece on the real one where we don't have it on the fake one. Okay, and the antennas are located exactly at the same position look at the bottom side here the one on the top side is going to be the real iphone 13 pro max and the one at the bottom is the fake look at the screws they're not the same but the speaker holes and the frame thickness are about the same they both use that lightning port as well okay here we have the left hand side we have the volume rockers up and down located exactly at the same position with the silent keys or switches and we have the antennas again located at the same position very very close guys so of course on the front side here let's go ahead and turn both of them on and this is the fake and this is the real one let me kind of give them a little bit of a cleanup they have a lot of smudges on the glass but you will see how the difference here is going to be on the display mainly um, other than the cameras of course so let's go ahead and turn both of them at the same time here. There we can see the Apple logos are located already almost at the same position. I can see the fake one has it a little bit more elevated. If you guys can see that right there. And here we can see now the bezels towards the bottom side. The real one has already, of course, um, started. So let's go ahead and enter here my passcode and boom. There we have it. Okay, this is my real iPhone 13 Pro Max. You guys can tell by the apps and stuff like that. So of course, we're gonna see that on this fake one, check this out, we have a similar startup screen as the real iOS. So of course, from here, we're gonna select uh, English United States. And I'm pretty sure that it's not going to ask me for my uh, Apple ID or at least it's not going to be mandatory and here we have the keyboard options So we know this is a Chinese device Wi-Fi we're gonna skip it for now 
Uh, let's go ahead and skip the SIM card. Let's enable location. You can see the fonts are not the same. Let's go ahead and skip this. Next. You can see that it allowed us to skip the Apple ID without even giving us a warning. Upgrade to uh, close drive cloud, continue. They just try to make it look as close as possible, guys. So set Siri, okay, do not send. Welcome to iPhone, start using. And here we go. Now check at the displays, like I said before, the fake one seems to have a little bit of a bigger chin, but if I'm not mistaken here, I think the chin looks a little bit smaller than other replicas that I've seen in the past. You also got now the smaller notch on the top. And surprising enough, I think the notch is a little bit smaller on the fake than the real. Check that out, guys. Check this out. Now, somewhere in here, we will have the Play Store. Usually, it is located here inside of Utilities. And boom, check this out. Yep, we do have the fake right here. It also came already activated with Assistive Touch, in which we have things like Home, the Home key. We can do Siri, which is a voice control. I'm not sure if this is connected to Google, but we do have a voice control on there. Uh, let's see, we have Notification Center. Okay. Something I did notice is that if you want to turn it off, then you have to hold and press the volume down. You can't do it with the volume up, otherwise it'll take a screenshot. So in order to turn it off, you go like that. With the iPhone, you can do it either or, it don't matter. But I just want to show you here, Oh, let me just try to do that again. I do apologize for that. So volume down and look at the similarities. We have emergency call, cancel at the bottom. But just look at the fonts. The real iPhone 13 Pro Max, it says slide to power off. And then on the fake, it says slide power off. So they missed the TO part of it. I believe the iPhone, the fake one here on the right hand side has the LCD display, uh, 720p resolution. And uh, now what I'm going to do here on the fake one is connect to the Wi-Fi, uh, do a couple of things on it and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I have been playing now with the fake one for I will say almost 30 minutes now. And I have done a couple of uh, different settings on here including with the real iPhone 13 Pro Max, I went ahead and turned off the night shift for um, easier view. So this is the night shift. And as you guys can tell, I just turned it off so that it makes it very similar here in terms of quality to the fake one. So here we have settings and on settings here, you can see the similarities. Here we have airplane mode. The fonts on the fake one do look a little bit better. If you can see what I mean right there, these are like washed out. These are more like bolded, but they are very, very similar. The icons, everything looks super, super real here with the fake one. Let's go into about device and this one is mimicking to have iOS 15.1, iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can see it has a serial number and everything. Now, something I did notice here that with the fake one, we can actually swipe to go back before we couldn't do that. So that's an update they did. Now, here's something that you guys might be quite uh, surprised about. They have changed now the processor on the fake iPhone 13 Pro Max. Before, it used to be only MTK65A0, and I did mention earlier that it probably had the MTK65A0, but no, it has the MTK6753, which is still a low-performing processor, but it is a little bit stronger than the mtk 65 a zero and there we can see it mediatek mt6753 with the mali t720 for the gpu we can see it right there at the bottom and then i also downloaded here the intuito benchmark in which by the way i think i just downloaded here the uh, 3d bench let's click install and this will allow us to do a benchmark but i might save that for a separate video if you guys request it I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get any good numbers. Like I said before, guys, this is a fake device. And it is an easy giveaway, actually. If you think about it, you have big bezels here at the bottom side. 
you have you know the bezels on the side as well so it takes a long time for something to install on here and it'll eventually show up but it takes a while but overall I think they tried they tried very hard we have things also very similar like the 3d touch if you hold and press it you can see that they look somewhat similar okay compare here with the real iPhone 13 Pro Max I mean they're not even close but look how they were able to blur the background very similar here to the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Siri it doesn't work like I said before this is a voice search so I just turned off the phone excuse me for that sometimes it works with a single tap sometimes you have to hold and press it so there we can see it and of course over here you had the real Siri now can you guys imagine maybe I didn't get that. sorry for that can you guys imagine if one day we do this real test like this and all of a sudden on the fake one we have the real Siri that'll be very very scary uh, but so far no we don't have that so that's another easy giveaway right there so I would say guys that the main thing here is if you look here into utilities you can see once again the Play Store in which I have already logged in and it does work you can download applications you can download games and now like I said having the MTK 6753 it is not that you can play 3D games with this fake one but the system will be smooth and yes you can download a couple of games and this is the 3D bench that we just tried to install it finally did install so if we go here into the Intuito benchmarks we go into device you guys here will learn that again we do have that MTK uh, 6735 well actually it is changing so I'm assuming that it could be either the MTK 6753 or the 6735 not 100% sure but here you can see the CPU model it is giving us as the MTK 6753 so there's a confusion I'm pretty sure that it could be the MTK 6735 both of them are low performing uh, CPUs but like I said it is an upgrade definitely an upgrade from the MTK 65A0. We have Android 7.0 which is quite outdated. For the RAM we can see that we have available 0.92 so I'm pretty sure that this only has one gigabyte of RAM and maybe 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal memory and that's uh, pretty much it guys. So let's try something else here. Let's try the Face ID. So if you go here into settings we go here to the top to where it says face ID and passcode we add the face ID check that out it is recording my face right now and you can see the percentage it's at about 75 80 it's going quite fast but it's not even near to what the iPhone does so let's go here into the lock screen and let's see if that actually works and right now there we go yes it does work so I guess I don't know some sort of camera trick guys most likely I wouldn't trust it these phones cannot be trusted at all here we have the dialer check this out call history we have the contacts now the contacts they didn't sync for when I did the login uh, we have music we know that this application has vanished from iPhone since a very long time we have here the messages okay and some of the stuff is going to look similar. Some of the stuff is going to be old. Uh, we have notes. Let's see what else we have. We have reminders. And the list goes on, guys. This is crazy. And by the way, this thing has a 3,500 million batteries. And I'm referring to the fake one. The real one has over almost 5,000, I believe. And yes, there's a big difference in performance. I mean, we can't even compare them, guys. I mean, this is Android. This is iOS. The real deal will always be the real deal and I cannot recommend any fakes out there guys. Another testing we're going to do here and this is going to summarize the video. It's going to be the camera. We know that the iPhone 13 Pro Max has 312 megapixel sensor cameras in the back, a telephoto, a wide angle lens and a standard lens as well. And on the front we have a, uh, I think it's a 16 megapixel on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And on the fake one, it's going to be more like a 5 megapixel for the front and an 8 megapixel for the rear. Let's go ahead and shoot a photo here to this box. And you can see that it's trying to focus. Let's do the same here with the iPhone. And then, of course, we're going to try to compare those photos somehow. 
let's see and well you guys can see right here the quality is not so bad I mean, considering that this is a fake device we check out the real one of course we have many options but just look at that quality right there quite similar if you ask me in the sense of how the user interface looks and so here we have things like portrait mode portrait mode check that out okay look at the real iPhone look at the fake iPhone and finally we have the front facing cameras so let's go in here into photos look at that guys we can't even compare them honestly I mean just look at that difference 5 megapixels totally different but the user interface does look somewhat similar then on here we have things like the control center just look at the similarities as well we have more toggles available now with the new iOS 15 here on the iPhone 13 Pro Max but we can see the similarities right here we can increase and decrease the brightness increase and decrease the volume as well we have the flashlights let's go ahead and compare that and well I mean of course the iPhone 13 Pro Max the real one on the left hand side here is going to have a much brighter um, LED light that's undeniable but again if you look at them from a distance they do look quite similar and again this is what makes this device just so scary in my opinion let me go ahead and enter here my passcode again and so yes it makes it super super scary guys I mean this thing is just much much better than any other replica that I've seen in the past in the sense of how it functions so even here we have YouTube and let's go ahead and play this trailer let me turn off here the um, the flashlight and by the way before we go here into YouTube I would like to also show you here the notifications just look at how similar they are look at the locks on the top super similar look at the Wi-Fi icons look at the battery icons of course I don't have a sim card here with the fake one but I can install it and leave it in the description whether or not it works so we can see in the bottom here we had the flashlight toggles very similar as well and wow this is this is crazy guys let's go here into YouTube let's try to play this trailer let's see any trailer here let's try to go for I don't know Gemini man let's try to go for this one here and yes it does work you can see how choppy it is let's increase it manually there we go and that's the quality of the audio keep in mind that this doesn't have stereo speakers it's only one speaker but this display true 720p like I said is viewable and whether we have the MTK 6735 or the MTK 6753 it doesn't even matter at this point what I can tell you is that it is a stronger processor than before and that well we still have the same RAM we still have everything else about the same check out the weather toggle I just set it up and it does work but it is in Celsius I go by Fahrenheit mostly and uh, let's go here into photos and here you guys can see the photos let's uh, look at the one that we just took and boom also the fake iPhone 13 Pro Max does not support wireless charging to prove it I have here the real iPhone 13 Pro Max always on the left and boom it is charging if we try that here with the fake 13 Pro Max it doesn't charge and if you look here at the charger the light is blinking giving me an error so it is now supported here with the fake so again guys with this being said I think that now here we have successfully completed the unboxing and the comparison between the fake and the real I know this video is probably not short but it is definitely worth it so that way you can get educated about these replicas and just be careful out there guys look at the smoothness even when moving pages around everything is very very close so with this being said thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more click on the bell icon don't forget to like and I'll see you guys 
on my next one. Peace.